Hey man, shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahushai Ba Shem Kafadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Who well told me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. Shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in this word being taught unto them. Shababa Amna wa Allah. Back with you with a quick lesson uh, entitled uh, Be Adaptable. I believe that's what I wanted to call it, yeah. Be Adaptable, man. You know, um, I'm actually walking right now. I ain't, I ain't got the car with me today. But um, seeing life, especially being in this truth, and uh, the times that we're coming into, we're gonna have to learn to uh, uh, get comfortable being uncomfortable. And if that means having to make certain adaptations in our lives, then uh, so be it, man. You know, because, um, uh, yeah, man, the time that we're coming into is gonna shake everybody up. You know, and we just have to be able to trust in the spirit and just to adapt to whatever would be required of us at the time. So let me bring this up. I ain't got too much time. In Second Ezra 16 and 37, behold, the plagues draw now and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bring her forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall the plagues be, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Now, you know, this time of tribulation is gonna catch those outside of the elect off guard because they didn't anticipate that these things would happen. So therefore they're gonna have a hard time trying to adapt to the reality of their situation as well as the elect. You know, Isaiah um, 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times. The elects will kind of have the, the, the you know, the, the mind for it, man. And we'll understand why these things are happening and who to call on to deliver them out of trouble. So it says, um, verse 40, Oh my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So this again goes into being adaptable, being malleable. Being comfortable, uh, 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 being comfortable, uh, get comfortable with being uncomfortable, Salakia. You know, do things, you know, daily, excluding the Sabbath, that, that challenges you, man. Because the time that we're headed into is going to be, uh, you know, very challenging times, man. And we're going to have to just be able to adapt to the situation and just understand that ultimately it's the Lord that's in control. So let me hold that real quick. This is the book of Proverbs 3 and 5 and it reads Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding So whilst you're adapting to whatever situation you're presented with You're also trusting in your by Shimei Hashai And you're not leaning on your own understanding And that's where the peace comes man You know, that's, that's when the magic starts to happen That's when you see miracles start to happen for us man But we have to be able to adapt to our situation man Get comfortable being uncomfortable yeah, we have certain comforts in this life, in this world that we're used to and may not want to let go, but, you know, we're heading into a time where we, we might just have to let those things go. So, yeah, man, you know, just, just be adaptable, man. Uh, welcome change. Embrace change, you know. Do things out of the ordinary, all right? So, yeah, man, I'm going to leave it there. You know, I pray, Lord willing, this lesson's been edifying. Real quick one, man. Until next time, I say shalom.